Welcome everyone! In today's video, I would like to talk about one of the activities you could do daily to increase your daily bronze and threat income, but mostly just threats. With the latest patch in Mists of Pandaria Remix, which increased the bronze gains from caches by 100% and threats from spools by 200%. The daily activity in question is called the Troves of the Thunder King, which is a solo scenario in the Isle of Thunder. First, we need to talk about how to access this scenario. To get into the scenario, you need the key to the Palace of Lei Shen. To get this key, you first need to complete the Thunder Isle campaign questline, which starts in town-long steps from a quest called the storm gathers. You just continue the quests after this until you see this daily quest icon on your map, here for the Alliance and here for the Horde. Also, while you are finishing this campaign, you will get the achievement Campaign Isle of Thunder, which will grant you greater bronze cash. This quest will give you the key and is only once per day. To complete the quests, you simply have to turn in 10 lesser charms of good fortune, which you can get from multiple sources, like elites or rares on the Timeless Isle or on the Isle of Thunder, world bosses, etc. Once you have the key, go to this spot and talk to Tao Shi to start the scenario. When you get into the scenario, you can once again talk to Tao Shi, who will start the timer, which is 5 minutes. I advise everyone to ignore the small chests and only go for the golden ones. These ones grant the spools of eternal thread ranging from green to yellow quality. I would recommend you to skip or go through the right path of the first floor and get only the easy golden chests. You leave the first room by pulling the lever which is on the left side of the exit. Get to the golden chests you can from the intersections and when you are in the second room get the most if not all of the golden chests since these are easy to get to. Then you leave the second room by pulling the lever to the left of the exit. Once you get to the third room go to the left and pull the lever which opens the exit to the last room which is on the right side. If you see any golden chests here, go for them, but I recommend killing the last boss and then returning to the previous rooms. I ran through the first and third room just to check where the chests could spawn. The last room is the easiest one to get the golden chests, since the boss spawns one when defeated and has two or three standing right behind him. And that's how the trope of the Thunder King works. You can now get huge amounts of threats each day by doing this quick scenario. The only downside is that you have to complete the story campaign, which will take you a while unfortunately. And we have come to the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching, hope this guide helped you understand how to gain access to the trope of the Thunder King. Like it if you liked it, and well, you know which button you are supposed to press. Thanks again so much for watching, and I'll see you all in Pandaria. Bye!